This is the AA silk mold, and I raised some myself in captivity. Would you care to see how I did it? The life cycle begins with small eggs, as usual, easily incubated at room temperatures. The tiny babies feed in groups on several plants like cherry, privet, lilac, sweet gum, castor plant and way more. Yes, they have group behaviors, isn't that cute? When the babies grow bigger, they become solitary and white. From this point and beyond, they require a little bit more space than most insects. This is an excellent species for beginners and experienced breeders alike. And there are many strains with unique and interesting forms and colors available in captivity. Yes, sometimes even a striped form. Isn't that interesting? Growing them from eggs to cocoons should take about 4 to 7 weeks time. The warmer, the faster they will grow. In warm conditions they can make it in slightly over a month, while in cooler conditions up to 2 months. Despite that it seems my larvae were indeed growing rather well. And now they were nearing pupation. When they are fully grown, the larvae spin pale white silken cocoons. Ah, there you go, some cocoons. Did you know this piece is domesticated purely for the purpose of silk production? Much like cows and chickens are domesticated to produce large amounts of milk or eggs, these moths spin unusually large uh, amounts of white commercial grade silken cocoons. The cocoons hatch in one to two months time if kept warm on room temperature. I always put them in a medium-sized pop-up cage, personally. Spraying with water helps a little. And voila! In a short time, the moths will come out. Congratulations! We've raised our own eerie sub moths together. Aren't they simply lovely? I think that they are. These moths have vestigial mouth parts and cannot feed. They more or less starve and run out of energy in 7 to 14 days time, usually. The rings have moon-like crescents. This piece is easy to raise for beginners and very forgiving. Just make sure not to overcrowd the larvae and don't keep them ridiculously wet. Then after a while they will begin to lay, make love. Pairings happen almost instantly and automatically. When a male and female have paired, the female will lay a few hundred pale little eggs. These eggs can be collected, harvested and incubated to start the life cycle all over again. Yay! Success! The end! Do you like this content? then please visit my big main YouTube channel Bart Coppens. This is my secret second channel in which I post outtakes, summaries or unused footage. Find my big channel for over a thousand insect videos.